Shalom of Racha, everyone. I think everybody by now knows the story of Ori Magidush, the soldier that was taken hostage and then rescued by Israeli soldiers later on. It was a miracle and everyone, no one could believe what had actually taken place. But many people don't know the miracles behind what actually took place. How many tefillot her family got involved in. How many tehillim gatherings, whether it was on Zoom live, in person. They took a Sefer Torah into her room and in order, in order to bring some Kiddushah in her room. They changed their mezuzot. They went to different Rabbanim. They did prayer sessions, challah bakes. And then we watched an interview from her uncle on a news channel. And here's what he had to say. On the Shabbat before she was released, they were all sitting around the table. And the uncle was asked from before Shabbat, from the family, listen, come and keep Shabbat with everyone in the zikhut that Ori will be released. And his uncle says, he was never religious, he was never Shomer Shabbat. But he said, you know what, for Ori, I'll do it. I'll keep Shabbat with everybody. And he says, we were sitting around the table, and everyone's talking about all the things that they've done, reading of Zohar and Tehillim. Everyone's talking about all the spiritual things they've done to see a miracle happen for Ori. And I said, you know what? Listen, all this talk about all this spiritual stuff, all the mitzvot, if Ori is released and the, so, and, and the rest of them come home safely, I'll keep every single Shabbat. If it happens, I'll keep it. To which everyone replied, listen, even his own children, Abba, you know, this is not an easy task. Shabbat is not easy. He said, listen, you know what? If you're saying these things work, and if Ori's going to come home, I'll keep every Shabbat. No, let's see what happens. The next day on Sunday, middle of the day, while he was at work, he, he gets a phone call. Ori's coming home. He says, I couldn't believe it. I hung up the phone. I called, an, I called a relative and I said, what's happening? They said, Ori's coming home. And I said, is she the only one coming home? Her? And he said, yes. And we started crying on the phone. And I said, Akadosh Baruch Hu, why? Why did you, why, why do you listen to my tefillah? Who am I for me to matter? Who am I for my Shabbat to matter? But the answer is quite clear. Every single person's mitzvot and their Shabbat matters. This is the war we are in. Everybody recognizes it. Every Jew recognizes around the world that we are not in a physical war anymore. This is a spiritual war. This is the war of us proving to HaKadosh Baruch Hu that we are united in doing His Torah and mitzvot. We are united in Chesed. We are united in Shabbat. We are united in every single mitzvah that we can take upon ourselves to save ourselves and our nation and our brothers and our sisters. So the question here is not what else we can do for our brothers and sisters. The question really is what are we really willing to do? Baruch Adonai Le'olam Amen Amen.